Hey there, Danny here. Welcome to my ramblings. You can see I'm painting, um, so excuse my mess. Anyways, um, I've been busy painting. I'm almost done with the bedroom. I mean, start finishing up out here. And eventually it's all gonna be the cabinets that color. Can't wait. Anyways, um, I came on here because I've been watching a lot of different YouTube stuff and then and, and I listen to podcasts when I'm out doing delivery um, just to change it up from just listening to music all the time um, so two things have struck me as strange so this whole voter ID thing I'm not quite understanding it so you don't need an ID to vote but you need an ID to purchase alcohol and tobacco and certain cold medicines and different types of things like certain spray cans uh, you have to have an ID to purchase spray paint I mean just simple little things that you wouldn't think I, the only reason I know this is because when I deliver these things I have to I have to ask for the person's ID and I have to scan it and prove that it's them so if we have to have ID for all this stuff, why wouldn't we have ID for voting? <laughs> I mean, if IDs are worthless like like they're trying to tell us, then why are we IDing for everything else? That just seems weird. Two, my other issue, and this one, this one, this one really blew my mind. I, I couldn't stop thinking this. So, there's all this, 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 uh, sex change stuff for kids. 11, 12, 13. Preteens and, and teenagers can change their sex. I'm really confused here. So an 18-year-old person, doesn't matter man or woman, 18-year-old person who is legally an adult, who gets tried in a court of law as an adult, can go to war and potentially die for our country. But they can't have any alcohol. They can't purchase alcohol. They're not supposed to have alcohol because they're not mentally mature enough to make the decision of drinking and driving. No offense, but uh, changing the drink legal drinking age to 21 really didn't change the numbers in drinking and driving accidents. But that's a whole nother video, so we won't go there. But yet, a preteen and a teenager is mature enough to decide that they want to change their sex? But an 18-year-old isn't mature enough to have alcohol. But going under the knife and taking prescribed drugs to change your sex, if you are a preteen or a teenager, is totally, totally okay. Okay, can everybody not see how messed up this is? You wonder why our world is the way it is. I'll tell you why. Because we've lost morals and values. Because we, we, we've decided that, 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 oh, we've got to just accept everybody. Well, accepting everybody does not mean that we have to keep fighting each other. Accepting is not fighting. <laughs> if you have to fight. My whole thing with this whole transgender thing, this just blows my mind, is they started this whole transgender thing because they were oppressed right that's that's why they did it because they were oppressed and now they're oppressing the oppressors so you didn't like it when it was done to you but it's okay when you do it to other people <laughs> do you not have any morals or values do you not understand what a hypocrite is <laughs> i mean come on I just sit back and I, I hear this stuff and I he see this stuff. And when I'm at restaurants and whatever else, I hear people talking and everything else. And all I'm thinking is, can people not see what is wrong with all of this? I, 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 are, are we just all blind to this? Come on. A preteen or a teenager is mentally mature enough to decide they want to change their sex. But an 18-year-old's not mature enough to have alcohol. We need ID to purchase all kinds of things. We need ID to fly on a plane. But we don't need ID to vote. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just so confused by how anybody 
could look at this stuff and go, oh, this makes sense. How? <laughs> How does this make any sense whatsoever? I'm so confused. <laughs> Our world is out of control and it's really out of control because everybody's fighting with everybody and everybody's giving up morals and values and I'll tell you this this is this is something that I've noticed for since I was young is if you look at if you look at our our society and the way it used to be um, but way back when people attended church they believed you know in in the Ten Commandments they had morals and values and everything else we opened up our televisions and they started throwing sex shit down our throats. I'm sorry, weren't you taught that sex was supposed to be between a man and a woman that were married under God? But somehow, somehow, we use sex to sell everything. Doesn't, isn't that a sin? Doesn't that go against God and the Bible? Isn't that go against what we're taught? But that's how they sell us everything. Sex sells. Why? You wonder why we have rapes and 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 all this child these predators. These child predators. You wonder why we have them? Because we've allowed our society to be saturated with sex is okay. Sex sells. It's all right. It's not all right. The, the, we have lost our morals and values. <laughs> And, and we gotta come back to it. I don't even care if you're not religious. Morals and values are not necessarily about the Bible or God. Morals and values are respect for yourself. Not even, not even, not even for anybody else, but morals and values are respect for yourself. It's how you protect yourself and show yourself respect. I'm I'm floored being out there driving around. I'm forever grateful that God gave me sons because I will tell you if I had daughters we would be at war. Me and my daughters because I look at some of these young girls there is no way my child will walk out looking like that. Come on now you've got to be clothed. You got to show some respect. If you're not showing some respect because why? Everybody else is doing it? Well, if everybody else drank the Kool-Aid, would you too? Especially if you knew the Kool-Aid was going to kill you. Come on now. Where is anybody's morals and values? We have no common sense and we've got no morals and values. And that is the problem with our world. The whole world. That's the problem. We've got no morals, no values, and no common sense. Without those three things, Look where we're at. <laughs> I mean, come on. I remember, oh God, had to be probably maybe 20 years ago if that. I don't, I don't remember when the movie came out, but that movie Idiocracy. Um, I remember when it came out and I was watching it. And I was, I, was, I, I, I was floored and all I said was, oh my God. At the time I was married to my second husband and I, I, I he's ex-husband now, but I remember looking at him going, oh my God, can nobody see that's exactly where our country is headed? Where are we at? <laughs> Somehow it's okay to be woke. It's okay to be, it's okay that teenagers and preteens have the maturity to decide that they want to go under the knife and they want to take drugs to change their sex. But an 18 year old who can go to war and die for their country is not allowed to drink. What? <laughs> How does that make any sense? Please, please, somebody make it make sense to me because it makes absolutely no sense. I'm floored when I look around at our society. I'm floored about it all. I, I, I'm just, I just go about my day just shaking my head thinking, oh my God, where is morals and values and, and, and common sense? We don't have it anymore. <laughs> I mean, come on. It is. Uh, you know, they had the lockdowns in 2020 because of the 
the COVID, but I'm gonna tell you right now, the lockdowns, I think, actually was kind of a blessing in disguise to everybody because it opened a lot of people's eyes to what was going on. It, it, it had opened a lot of people's eyes and it was amazing to watch people's eyes start opening up and going, whoa, what's going on? And and, and now there's this big division and, and hate and anger with, with everybody, why? Why? <laughs> For what? What does it get? What does it get you? What does hating somebody? What does what does being mean and and vulgar to somebody else? What does that get you? Does it get you what you want? No, it makes you look like a fact. Uh, it makes you look like an ass. It makes you look like a fool. The people that are standing around watching you do this, say, acting a fool like that, constantly cussing and swearing and 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 throwing your agenda down everybody's throats is kind of like everybody outside is looking at you going, you're the crazy one. <laughs> but yet, you're doing it because you think people are going to side with you. The only people that are siding with you are the other crazy ones, in my opinion. Because <laughs> I'm totally confused on all of this. Anyways, um, I'm still working on the RV, working a lot. I will try to get back to you again. Um, Again, this is Danny's rambling, so I can ramble about whatever I want. Don't come at me with anything because I'm going to tell you right now that you're not going to get a rise out of me about this. These are just common sense things, and, and, and we need morals and values back in this, in this world really, really bad. <laughs> so, I look forward to uh, hearing any comments from you guys or anything else. Uh, let's have a discussion. And if you see other things that you'd like me to look into and have a discussion on, I'd, I'd appreciate that. <laughs> Anyways, have a great day, guys. Love you. Bye.